Cristo penso da Cruce, vivi il meglio penso da Cruce. I'm assuming next week we may have some more, we may have less people. If our brother sisters may take it, that's we will continue. Otherwise, not. So we will begin from Surat Yusuf. Up to Surat Yusuf, we studied. First, this group studied a little Arabic, basic Arabic. Then we studied some surahs from the bottom of Quran, that is, last chapter, some part of it, and it is about some part of it. We, we studied. Then, we, after that, we can take Quran. Then we applied one by one, word by word. We read book word by word and explaining out to you. The purpose of this class is to make people familiar with the words of Quran, with the terminologies of Quran, the little grammar of Quran, and so that persons who are interested in understanding Quran and have a little, a little background of Arabic background, studying grammar or they themselves speak Arabic, to understand or feel the meaning when they themselves that is the purpose. It's not like big explanation of tafsir, big tafsir. We can do, but uh, nobody is ready for that because this is like for one page we need to spend a whole month. I can bring tafsir from, I don't know myself, but I can bring tafsir from our library now. We have very good tafsir, we can plenty of them. Uh, perhaps about Surat Yusuf, maybe 100 pages, very big pages. I mean, we can go 100 big, big pages in three months. Uh, I mean, we, even, we cannot finish. Also, that we cannot finish. So, we are, our life is not designed that way. We cannot do it. So, the purpose of this, as I said, class is to make people who know a little bit Arabic more familiar with Arabic and with Quranic words so that they, when they read, figure out, feel, understand some part, not that much difficult, understand some part at least uh, in general way, the meaning of the Quran. Uh, the way we do this class is I recite some part of that surah first, then come back after recitation, come back one by one, word by word, tackle and try to explain uh, going to grammar side more. That is the way we do it. Recitation is, I recite, like professional way, a little bit, we take me to Turkey, so that brothers and sisters who are interested, they may check their recitation, their reading, with my passively, and correct a little bit, or benefit. So, Jenna, uh, what I do, I recite one routeur or two routeurs. This is we will begin from Surat Yusuf, chapter of Yusuf. I will recite two routeur today. What is routeur? Routeur, which is Re, Chav, Wal, Ain, I let her born 
this book that I've meant to be my head, inshallah. Uh, that is why I can't try. The poor ends with iron. Iron. Iron like that. Iron. Like that. The poor iron. Which is bowing. The poor. Raja. The poor. In stop. At the end of ayahs, there are signs, three mean, sometimes additional signs. And there is ein sign from time to time. So I will recite from beginning to the end of second ein sign today. What is this ein sign? What is, what is the meaning of that? It is like a paragraph in a book or in a letter. What is the meaning of paragraph? Like independent meaning. One may have big book, big book, chapters and title, then chapters and sub-chapters, subdivisions, and paragraphs, paragraphs. It is like paragraph in Quran. Mutur, meaning wise, from one mutur to another, one a little bit different meaning, different part, segment of the of the subject, whatever the subject is. So keep to keep the, the independence of meaning, I don't follow page page. I follow the cure and the cure to keep the meaning. You will notice in your Quran, I believe, it is, these lines sometimes are in the middle of the page. Because subject ends in the middle of page. Paragraph ends in the middle of the page. In paragraph and paragraph. Can you repeat that again? I mean, mm -hmm. paragraph. The cure, the cure, I'm. This is the cure. One theme, one subject, like paragraph, meaning wise. Here in this surah, sixth ayah, sixth ayah is the end of paragraph. I think in our Quran, to in everybody's Quran, I believe, there is ayn at the top. Ayn. Little circle with the ayah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That circle, that is, that is end of the paragraph. So first paragraph, that is. Second one, second one, if you, if you turn the page, if it is necessary, second paragraph is, is 20th ayah, 20th, book 20th, 20th, 20, 20, 20, there is an ayah over there. So I will recite from beginning up to that, show this bracket, show this one, 20th. No iron over there? Now, now, I will explain that one, why there is no iron. <coughs> uh, I will not want to go to that detail. In some Qur'ans there is no iron, in some Qur'ans it is totally understandable. You know, I explained some times ago, I mean, no problem. At the beginning, at the beginning, Qur'an had no sign, nothing. They were just letters like that. Even fair or path, tear or bear, there was no dot during the time of the Prophet. During the time of Umar, Abu Bakr, Umar, Rusman, no dots, no hareke like fair, a, like e, like a. No, 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 no. Only main part letters like this was wow this was something like could be five but don't could be cough won't be two dots it was like that after 100 years after the death of the prophet muslim scholars developed this found found out invented these dots for the, yeah, 
Nandi there are a big history when you read in the books, it is who did, what did, what did they do, why did they do? Why? To accommodate Muslim, new Muslims, they do, they do not have Arabic, new Muslims, too many Muslims, and who will teach how difficult they did not know to figure out how to do this. And so because of that they invented. So in that sense, if somebody says there is a development in the text of Quran, development. Words did not change, pronunciation did not change, it was the same, no word added, no word subtracted, pronoun, but made easy. Made easy. This stops mine and others also invented later after 100 years. After 100 years, this stops. Some of them, some of them are not used in some part of the world. In some part, they develop. This, this Quran printed in Medina, Hadim al Haramani Sharif al Malik al Fahd ibn Abdul Aziz, Malik al Mamlakat al Arabiyat al Saudiya, Tabaat al Mushaf al Sharif in Medina. In Medina, there is a big print house. I visited that print house, I met everybody who was there, and really, very, very big, 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 big machines, modern from Germany, from America, well trained people. Alaikum Salaam, Alaikum Salaam, Alaikum Salaam. Uh, I visited. So they have this is printed. So there is this is called Medina Mushaf. Medina Mushaf. They some of the signs they have are not fitting to other parts like Istanbul, Khilafa Darul Khilafa. Some of the signs are not fitting when you compare comparing printed Qur'ans with each other is very interesting subject. Brothers from Pakistan, India, Pakistan, their Qur'an, then Qur'an published in Taj Company, you, you compare with that, with this one published in Istanbul, printed in Medina. What is this? I mean, you may say, no, not big difference, but a little bit in Haraka, in Shekhe, in Ashkar, we call Ashkar, some differences. So this difference, I am, is not there, is not big deal. From scholarly point of view, I know this last <coughs> argument, discussion about Atlantic Constitution, this magazine published an article written by someone reflecting the views of two German Orientalist researchers who searched, found out some of the old Quranic pieces, documents, in Sana'a, Yemen. And those people, scholar, they knew Arabic, they knew Arabic, they are living. They studied this research and they decoded those pages and they said, oh, there is no dot here or some dots here, some eshkar, some letters, some fatha, some banna. So in their view, they said, ah, this is not that much exactly the same as Qur'ans are printed today. So there is a little a development, something they said. So this American writer picked from them, from their explanation, put that into an article and put into perspective and published an article in that Atlantic Constitution, that magazine. So 
and some other people picked up from there. They said, oh, Quran is changed or changed and uh, things like that. They have to be pulling, pushing, stretching the subject. They have to be far away. So a big role in Yemen. In Yemen, administration allowed to these German researchers to do their research over there in a private way, not publicly, because they did not want everybody who used two German orientalists are working in the library and found something so politically incorrect. People would say, what, what, what they are doing, who, who they are. So it may become a problem. So, but this article brought that issue into the picture. So this article uh, made that public. So it was a big problem in Yemen and in the world, too. Now, Muslim scholars began to answer to them. Some of them said yes, some of them got angry. The public uh, was not happy what they are, they are playing with our Quran. I mean, pe people began to think that way. So, it is a problem today. Uh, Mustafa Azami answered for, to that. This is a, big, a nice scholar from, from India, Laknem, uh, from Laknem. He has, uh, is very keen person, Hadith, and Hadith, very strong person. So he answered for that, to that. And uh, Impact Magazine wrote an article very interesting. This orientalist in, in that Impact Magazine, this orientalist answered to accusation done to him. He said, I first he wrote a, 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 a letter in Arabic, in his signature, in Arabic, very good Arabic. It is beginning, a Shaykh al Fadil, al Akwa, so and so, the race of Obad, the Yemen, Kazali, Kazai, begins like that in Arabic. Copy of that Arabic letter is there in Impact Magazine. That is a very good magazine, published in, in, in England by Brother Farouk, who is my colleague, nearly 40 years. And very well quality <coughs> magazine we have big, big subjects like that, nice subject. So he answered. He said, I regret what happened. We did not intend those things, but somebody listened to us, alayhi salam, somebody father, somebody listened to us and he he, he put this uh, things in a newspaper form, reporter, and uh, it became out of hand. We did not intend really what happened, why we, we did not intend to work, you know that. But let me go back uh, to, to the subject. Uh, that is, in Quran, there is Ayn, Rukur, this paragraph signs, in some Quran could not be, are not there. But nothing wrong with that. From the point of scholarship, anybody who studies history of Quran and Suyutis books, Manahilul Irfan, other books, they explain these things in detail. So it is not really a big thing. A person who is is in this profession and yeah, studied Quran history, how Quran was collected, how these let letters tell. So sometimes you would not see these signs and other signs in some Qurans. In other Qurans you will see these are not a part of, uh, I would say, revealed Quran, revealed. These are additional, like, like, uh, decoration like uh, rulers around, like uh, numbers of the pages. These were not there before. So these are to make things easy for Muslim Ummah.
that is why. This is not bid'ah, not something oh, Muslims destroy or not so no. No, no, no. This is fitting. This is in that line. Ulama understood this way. So I will recite. I will begin to recite this uh, from Surah to Yusuf from beginning of Surah to Yusuf. This time, I think two, two paragraphs. Then we will, inshallah, come back to explain the, 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 the meanings, the, the system, as I said earlier. Okay, inshallah. So that is, if anybody needs to ask, we have to answer very clear. Then I take them. The purpose of this recitation, as I said earlier, is just to check your pronunciation with mine and perhaps benefit from that. That is the purpose. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitab Thank 
surat, surat di Yusuf. First we have this Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Just one or two points about Bismillah. Bismillah is very important. There is a hadith about Bismillah. كل أمن ذي بعض لم يبدأ بالبسملة أو أقطع أو أقطع anything which is begun with no بسملة any important thing which persons begin without saying بسملة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أو بسم الله جست بسم الله بليس that will become a cut off at the upper, I mean, good part of it will not come out, will not end with good things. That is why we Muslims always, Bismillah, 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 Rahman, we say like that, and you go, Bismillah, you wear something, Bismillah, you do something important, Bismillah. Uh, it is not necessary to say Bismillah before each Bismillah. Meaning, there is no vicious circle in, this is very big, very big rule in Islamic theology. Vicious circle is not accept, not, uh, not uh, proof or not evidence. That is called a dairatul fasida. Fasid, daire. Daire fasida in Persian, in Urdu, in Arabic, in Turkish, in vicious circle. Meaning what? Two things are, by the way, I'm just saying something, two way of argumentative method, argument, arguing something, discussing with something, to prove something, Two things are rejected in Islamic theology. One is vicious circle. Circle. I mean, you go, uh, who created father? Father created his mother. Okay. I mean, like created. Okay. Who gave birth to father? Father was given birth by mother. Who gave mother uh, this? Uh, his mother, or her mother, or her father. Uh, then or. or uh, I mean, vicious circle, like vicious circle. What is chicken? Oh, chicken gave birth or laid down egg. What is egg? Egg is a big mother or source of chicken. And what is the chicken? Chicken, oh, is the source of the... I mean, somebody like that, chicken, which comes first, which comes... If you sit like that, you are you. Chicken comes before egg. I say just opposite. Egg comes before ch chicken. I mean, one day, next day, next day, next day, whole years, whole centuries, nothing will finish. This is terrible. You question? Yeah. Difference of I mean, basing on the subject to prove something through vicious circle, you must find another method. This is not acceptable. What is another not acceptable? Tasalsul, chain, chain. Okay? Somebody asked, who created this? Carpenter. Who created carpenter? His mother. Who created mother? Chain. Going back. Tasalsul, silsila in Arabic, silsila. Okay? Allah created one day. God, God created. Who created God? God created. Allah created God. Let us come Islamic God, Allah. Then, who created Allah? If I say Allah is created by someone else, then you will ask who that someone else created by who? Then it will go tessel, tessel, tessel. You need to stop somewhere. Where to stop? That is Allah, who is not created. Tasalsul, I mean, uh, it, in Ilmul Kalam, there is big explanation, Ilmul Mantu, there are big explanations about this subject. So, vicious circle, 
It is not acceptable, not true. Test answer is not something to be used in court. Why I am saying like that? We must not be confused and become a little bit paranoia. When I say Bismillah, I need to say for other things Bismillah, the next one. Like I am putting my feet, first virtue, okay, Bismillah. And what about next, next shoe, Bismillah. Then a step, Bismillah. What about other step, Bismillah. So this person will be like, uh, like, I mean, I'm not objecting to say Bismillah that much, but not necessary. He is really hang up. He is really, uh, really, instead of doing something important, maybe thinking important, other things, he is really uh, misinterpreting. This is not necessary. The censor is not necessary. Vicious circle is not necessary. You say Bismillah one for main part of it, then go do other things. All Bismillah will cover everything in that. Cover everything. It is enough. This is important because we get questions from the people and uh, they have a, sometimes have a problem I mean, uh, in their mind, in their intellect, and uh, how to come out from this. Now, Bismillah here is very important. Bismillah. At the beginning of each chapter, there is Bismillah. There are in Quran 114 chapters. One, one, four, 114. Except one chapter. One chapter has no Bismillah. That is Surah Al Tawbah, which begins Baraatul Min Allahi wa Rasulullah. That, with no chapter. It is like a chapter, but no Bismillah. Bismillah is not written at the top of it. Me, why Rodama asks, say, and argue about this subject? They say that the content of that surah is killing, murder, fight, attack. Because of that, one has to use Bismillah is not mentioned, Alayhi not mentioned over there, because Bismillah is mercy. Merciful, Rahman, Rahim, full of mercy. And what kind of full of mercy? We are, we are invoking the name of Allah for mercy, then we are killing the people. It is not fitting. In that setting, it is not fitting. It is not fitting. That is why it is not mentioned. One of them, some of them are saying that. Sometimes saying Bismillah is not good, not advised by scholars. What is that? I mean, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim is not good. Saying Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, not good, not advised. Sin. When somebody is doing sin, oh Bismillah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillah, no Alhamdulillah, no Bismillah. What you are doing is already wrong. Don't ignore the name of Allah. Don't let the name of Allah get like mixed. What are you doing? Don't do that. Okay? Oh, you you will slaughter Qurban Udhayyat, Qurbani just past weeks. Qurbani Bismillah, I will slaughter myself. Okay? So you, you lay down this your uh, sheep or goat and cow. Okay? Okay, that. Then, okay, you have a knife, good, shad, bismillah, bismillah is okay, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, bismillah is okay, you, you need to say bismillah. But Rahman al Rahim, no. No Rahman al Rahim. Bismillah, just bismillah. Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim, no Rahman al Rahim. Why? Because not, this is Rahman al Rahim time. Rahman merciful, what merciful? No, I'm not doing mercy that much. No mercy. I mean, really, there is a chance. I mean, Bismillah is good. Uh, I mean, Bismillah is to say. Say, but where, how, who, with, when? It is a chance. There is a chance. Ulama wrote the things in the past. Ulama wrote. So, a chance. So, Bismillah is very important, very good. It has rules and regulations. According to some methods, including Hanafis, Bismillah 
at the top of this surah, which is written, is not a part of Quran. Is not that was not revealed. When Jabrail wrote this, uh, uh, the following ayahs of Al-Fidam in Tilkayat Al-Fidam in Mubi, in Nazarah Al-Quran, Narayya Al-Fidam. He did not bring Bismillah, this place, like that. He didn't. These are added later on. It's not a part of Quran according to Hanafis. That is why if a Hanafi Imam is leading in prayer, when he reads previous ayah or begins from this surah, he doesn't say in his prayer, after the Rabbah, in Amin, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alif Lamin, Tilka Ayatul Kitab. He doesn't say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Because it is not a part of Quran. But according to Shafi'is, according to some other masses, it is a part of Quran. It is a part of Quran. So there are two issues. That is why when some Shafi'i Imam leads the prayer, he recites loudly or secretly, and Hanafi Imam does not recite. There are differences of views, in fact. So this is, this is some explanation of the there are some ulama says when Bismillah rahman rahim is said, it is good to stop at the end. Bismillah rahman rahim What? Taking breath, leaving breath once, releasing breath at least once. Then, Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitab in Mubin. Why? Because it is not a part of Quran. So you make it separate. Break. Don't connect. What? What? Stop it. What? Stop it. Stopping means taking nafas. Breath in. Then you continue. Just not stopping only stopping the voice. If stopping means in Tajweed, you stop your voice and you take breath. In, out, you did once, stop what took place. If you stop your voice, but you then take in, take out, Breath, that is not wakafu, that is sekte, sujud, sinke, kafte, sujud, that is sekte, that is different. In four places in Quran, we don't do what we do sekte. In four places, in future we will come to that inshallah. Four sectors. Because the words are very interesting. Could be connected the previous one, could be connected the following one. So Hulama found a way. If they totally stop, take breath in, then that means it is not connected the previous word, preceding word. So they said. Since it has, it could be connected, it could not be connected, what do we do? Let us do half stopping, half stopping, let us stop breath, but uh, let us stop sound, voice, but not take breath, not big stop, sector, that is called sector. In Surah Piyasin, in Manfadina, Hara. We don't say in Makadina Hadama. We don't say like that. We stop in Surah Yasin, for example, it is like that. In Surah Al Mutafifi, Kalla Bal Rana. Bal, stop voice, but don't stop the other part. It is like that. I mean, in Wakila, Man Ra, 
di surat Al-Qiyamah dan di surat Al-Qiyamah Aiwa ja Paiman di surat Al-Qiyamah So, some ulama says it is better to stop Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alif Lam Mim Zal Tidja Ayat Tidjah Bil Mubi Some say, no It is better to connect Connect is wasl Wau Saat Lam Wasl Connect, liaison Meaning like this Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Mi Alif Lam Ra Tilka Ayatul Kitab Il Mubin Because according to that theory this is a part of Quran it is all Quran is one unit Chapters, there were no chapters during the time of the Prophet. I mean, this separation, there were no chapters. And no, these top signs, there were not. These numbers, number one, number two, were not there. So why are we breaking into pieces? I mean, somebody. Total, let's call the total acceptable. That is why I, I, there, are, there are differences of views in, in scholarly. I mean, the classes, head classes will touch this subject very much, I believe, more. But let me touch a little bit. I traveled to Saudi Arabia some time ago with some groups of imams and scholars from this country. We had very, I had very nice person with him in the, in, with her in our company, well trained, Hanuti, brother Hanuti, who is in Darul Isa in Washington, in that area. So, this group did not know me that much. So they did not, uh, they knew somebody from Dallas, Texas, but uh, I think uh, nobody knew me. Whether I have it or I do not have it or not have it, they did not know. I understand. So, because, so somebody was speaking Arabic in Saudi Arabia and they started explaining, so they were assigning me a translator to translate me into English. So I kept quiet and okay, okay. So, but then we visited this Bazaar to the administration of Lazar to the Al-Qafla Yishad in Mecca. So there were good people. Masjid and Tanaim, Imam was there and others. So they were speaking Arabic. So I too joined my, with my broken Arabic. They said, you said this sentence? I said, yeah, 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 I said, yeah. Oh, then they said, you know, Yusuf? Come on, come on, come on, uh, you have something. I said, of course, I have something, but I am hiding. So we came out, out of it. Then they said, no, oh, no, no, since your voice is not bad, okay, could you read out where to go? I said, I read the Quran. I said, I will read something. I said, there are, like, maybe 200 different styles but I am not trained in all of them. I am trained in some of them. You want me to use different techniques, different, I mean, at the back of the wall, if you listen, I will, the same person, I will recite one style, then another style I will recite, you will think that I am not that person. You will think I will, different style. We call maqams, modes in musical. It is, it is like that. Uh, it is taken from the time of the Prophet Muhammad, his camels. It has measures, it is like musical in Islamic tradition. They have this, I mean, not everywhere, but developed. Because Ottomans in Istanbul, they had very developed madrasas and things like that. They developed their things. Okay, so I, I recited, I said, this is Hijaz. I will recite. 
this is Rast, I will recite, this is uh, Nahavent, some of the names. <clears throat> so this Hanuti was listening, but not that much really. So then later on he commented. He said, all oh, this kind of no, no good. Very knowledgeable person. Very well. I like him very much. Very knowledgeable. He said, during the time of the Prophet, there was no dots, no ayah number, no this, which is correct. Correct. I, I, we don't object to that. So this, Maqam, uh, uh, no. What are you doing? And one approach, which is, for me, it is totally comfortable. Though it, I'm not trained that way, but reading the books, I appreciate his view. No problem. I don't have any problem. So he, then there were some other groups from Egypt who have good recitations. Egyptian office is, is nice, mashallah. So they supported me. No, they said, yeah, no, 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 brother Yusuf, but he is doing this okay. It is allowed. I mean, when you say, see waterfall, Niagara Falls, you see this water, nature. Why? Well, when you nightingale, nightingale, okay, this bird, you see it. Very nice, very nice, okay? That's voice. But, sorry. Donkey's voice. <laughs> Nothing there together. No. No. I mean, there is voice. There is voice, yeah. There is, there is, there is voice. There is voice. There is some good one, nice one, affecting and the thing. Voice is a mystery. Affects on the people. I mean, there is so, so nothing wrong with that to beautify recitation of Qur'an with a little different techniques, making more beautiful, more attractive, more nothing wrong. So they supported me. So what I am saying, there are different understanding of approaching Qur'an. Somebody may say, why this person is stopping over there? must not stop really connect this ayah to others. If it is scholarly based uh, as a base, it is totally okay. Because when you read those books, it is there. All those things are explained in, in there, in the books. It is there. I mean, even you can get a little bit confused. Too much knowledge, too much differences of views, you get saying which one? You, 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 which one to select? I am confused. You become like that. Even that much knowledge is uh, available. Was and everything. So now we are in Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Question. You said uh, two hundred different styles. Makams, Makams, M A. If you want to write the word, M A Q A M, Makam. It is it is said Makam, which is in English modes, M O D E, mode musical modes in new musics, musics. There are more American music or Western music. Style this door, every fast of things is not fitting to East and to Islamic music. A little bit different. In Islamic music, or I mean culturally, too, we have less instrument. We don't have these all these concerts and uh, 80 different instruments and conductors <coughs> sitting at the top and doing like that and really even if, if there is a singer or somebody his voice is lost in the in the middle of voices or sounds of instruments. We don't have that in East. 
It is maybe one small instrument, but vocal, solace, human voice is there, sentence is there, sentence, saying something, general is like delta delta. And based on human, human uh, perception, understanding, voice, in West, including church and uh, these orgs and things, uh, big, big voices coming and things like that, a little bit different. Measures are different. Poems are different. You know, in, in Arabic, in Persian, in Urdu, in Arabic, poems, letters, and they have rhymes at the end, same length, poems are same length, same le letters, same long, there are versions, models, fitting Bach, Bach Rajas, Bach this, Bach this, and it is fitting to that. And when you read that one, it is like a galloping horse. I mean, or very well uh, trained thing. Uh, in Western music, in Western poems, different. Some short, some long. These rhymes are not there. Kafias are not there. Rebif we call Rebif is not there. Very different. Very different, really. It is not fitting. Uh, I like poems, uh, Arabic poems, and uh, with rhymes and everything. And I like English American poems too. But I want to read, to read them with my background, like Arabic. I can't do it. I can't do it because it is not fitting. The letters are not same, same fitting. First line is second line. First line is long. Second line is, is short. First line ends with Q uh, uh, or with uh, C, for example. And <coughs> Second line, following line ends with another voice has no voice. In, in Arabic, letters end must be ends, ends with, with same letter, uh, same two letters. Khalq, falq, qalq, I mean, pop, 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 pop. When somebody, a very well trained teacher, reads a good poem of Arabic, you just, if that ends with LQ, for example, you say, look, 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 you see this one, this voice, look, 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 it grabs you, attracts you, doesn't it? So this, or on, there are modes in Islamic training system, at least in my country, modes applicable to Quran, not applicable to Quran. There are musical uh, techniques, musics, applicable in reciting Quran, not applicable. There are not applicable. What is the rule? Rule is, first, all letters must be pronounced properly. We call maharij al maharaj, must be pronounced properly. Khalaqa, khalaqa, it must not be khalaqa, it must not be alaqa, it must not be mixed with other letters, similar letters, no. This letter is with dot at the top, khalaqa, it must be khalaqa, it is not khalaqa. Meaning changes, pronunciation changes, meaning changes. So, it, so all words must be pronounced pro properly, whatever style you are reading, reciting. Second, the letters pronounced must be allowed level short, must be allowed level long, if it is, if they are prolonged. 
I see sometimes brothers are calling me a son, which is okay. But for example, they are saying, Hanya ala salah, for example. Hanya ala salah. Ain, ain. I don't have word, so ain, fatha. It is not so good. It is not ah, no, not acceptable. I mean, I'm not saying the uh, whole uh, sky fall down, falls down, but uh, technically, no. But salah you can prolong, because salah is, there is a meadow there. Salah is prolongable. There is lamb, there is a leaf, then set it, set it at the end. It is, yeah, you can do it. Salah, okay. But not, ah, don't do it. Or for example, Allah Akbar. Allah, it is wrong, could be. But somebody, Allah Akbar, for example, prolong it, no, prolong it. Why are you doing like that? I mean, there are some rules, regulations. Because prolonging over that, destroys the letter's entity, identity, makes that letter something else, looks something else. No, you don't have a right like that to do that. So there are a few rules like that. If you observe those, it is totally jais allowed to recite with different techniques. These techniques make, makes, or make, techniques make the meaning, the content of the subject you are alive, attractive, lovable, livable by the people. Suppose there is a funeral, some respected person died. Sometimes this death is an acceptable level death. Old person and uh, was sick already, expected. Yeah, okay, I mean, we regret, we feel sorry for anything, but um, I mean, kind of okay. Everybody does not feel from heart too much, sorry, does not feel, okay? But sometimes a girl, for example, marriable, engaged, beautiful, known in that community, respected family, family, everybody was excited, Sunday we will have this marriage, and this boy also is good, and they are very active, very known, just one day before, a car accident. And they were going like wedding gown, something, okay? Some way, wedding gown to try, to try or to see or to buy. This news spread, different. This death is different than the other death. Human beings are different. So everybody, in my country where I'm coming from, if this second type of death occurs in my village. At least 10, 15 people write Destan. We call Destan. Dastan. This is poetic story telling the story of this death in poetic form in my language. They write in my language in poetic form. Or, I mean, in one night. You will see her friends, you will see a few other people, will write like 20 pages long. It will last like 15, 20 minutes uh, to read. And they say, oh, this girl was getting to marry on her way to wedding try, wedding gown. Azrael came, grabbed her soul, and left us without her, something, oh, 
then everybody listens, he gets to cry. I cried many times. I wish I could listen that type of dastan once more and I'm ready to cry. That cry is nice cry. You will relieve, you will something. Different. Different. Dastan, dastan, different. Now, you are called to that wedding to call a son. You cannot call a son on them. I mean, you destroy the Zan, excuse me. That beauty is not there. But if you recite something, one of the styles, very. Second surah of Quran begins after Walabani Amin, Alif Lam Mim. Third surah begins with Alif Lam Mim. There are surahs Asim Mim letters. These letters are called Al Furuful which is broken letters. Just letters. This is not a word. A meaningful word. One word. It is not. A leaf is different. Plum is different. Ra is different. Here in this beginning of Surah. There is a big literature about the meanings of these things. Why? First, there is nobody known in this world who knows exactly 
what these letter mean, letters mean. Nobody. The Prophet didn't tell us, did not tell us what these letters mean. We don't know. Nobody knows. Arabs did not know in his time. Arabic language in that time did not have these type of letters. Beginning with no meaning. Did not have. So we don't know the meaning. Nobody knows. They, scholars, guessed, speculated, put ideas based on not real knowledge, because we don't know, nobody knows, but with other, using other techniques. Some said, Alif may mean Allah, <coughs> because Allah is, begins with Alif, Alif may mean Allah. Lam may mean Jabrail. Or Ra, here in this case, may mean the Prophet, Muhammad. Or Jabrail. They did not say fixed. This is exactly the meaning. They did not, they could not. They don't know. We don't know. In this world, doesn't seem it is possible to know. In the hereafter, we will know what these letters, separate letters, independent letters, would mean, what were their meaning, what are their meaning. We could know it in the hereafter. We don't know. Tilka ayatul kitabi mubir. Tilka, this, tilka means this. Tilka is feminine word, feminine of zalika. Zalika, like that, like this, it has two meanings. Zalika is Zal Elif, no Elif in that way of writing in Quran. Zal Lam Ka, pronunciation is Zalika, means this and that, it is masculine, it is Muzakka. Tilka is feminine. Tilkum, plural. Tilka is one, single. Tilka ayatul kitabi. Ayat is plural of ayat. Ayatul. Ayat verse. Sign. Any sign, ayat, or verses, pieces of Quran. Kitab the book. Al Kitab. With Al. The book. Article. Al Mubid comes from Bayan. Bayan, Bayana. Abiyana, Mubin is Ismul Fa'il, means Bayan clear. This is Tilka, Ayatul Kitabi, the verses of the book, Al Mubin, clear. This Mubin is adjective of Kitab. Mubin is Safa in Arabic, Na'at in Arabic, Safa. Kitab is Mausuf. Adjective, qualifying, describing, antecedent in English grammar. Antecedent, that is a kitab, which the word which precedes or Descri description related with that word in English grammar. When we say read book, read is adjective. Book is noun, but qualified, described by read. Read is qualifying describing the color of what book book comes after adjective 
in English. We don't say book read. It is said in English, read book. But in Arabic, just opposite. Al Kitabu, book comes first. Al Ahmaru, read. Al Ahmaru. Adjective comes after. Safa in Arabic comes after. Mausu. In Arabic, Safa comes after Mausuf. Mausuf is Al Kitabu, qualified one, described one. That is antecedent in English grammar, antecedent which is comes from Latin word antecedent, from antecedent in French. It is antecedent, a word which is described by or qualified or explained by qualifying verb which is adjective in grammar. So kitab is now so mubin is safa. This is the book, this is the verses of the book of clear. This is first ayah of what? Yusuf. Surah to Yusuf. In your Quran, in my Quran, it is written at the top, Surah to Yusuf, Makkiyatun, Vehiya Miyatun, Vehihta Ashara Ayatan. The word Surah. Surah is chapter, like chapter. But it is seen while Ra. Savara, so it is like wall. Wall, separator. It is like different separation. Different chapter, chapter separate, separate, separate. So surah literally means surah means like separator, like or separation, like a wall separates two parts of the same space. It is surah. It is mentioned in Quran. The word surah, that is surah, is mentioned in Quran in the meaning of chapters, in the sense of chapters of Quran, also in the sense of the uh, walls. In surah, which surah is that? I think surah al Hadid. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Yes, judgment and they will be willing, they will try to mingle monophers with the believers so that believers are going to Muslims are going to paradise so let us sneak in to paradise together with these people. So the Zabanis or Malik Malik. What is Malik? You know what is Malik? Malik. Yes. Malik. Owner. Owner, but no. Malik. Yes, that is the meaning. Malik is the name of the, one of the name, one of the meaning. It has a few meanings. Malik here with him. Yes, what you said. Owner. But one of the meaning of Malik is the angel at the door of Jahannam. Yeah, you know. Jahannam. Money. So that money is not really good money, excuse me, I will grab you, close you over there, so that is different money. So uh, it is mentioned in Quran that money in that meat man too. Anyhow, these, these monophics, hypocrites, 
will be trying to mingle with Muslims and to go to paradise. When they are trying, a, a wall will be erected. فَدُرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُورِ سُور 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 will be erected erected beaten up up beat bite I mean to be to be sorry not bite to be to be bite but in Arabic you beat the tent Barbul Khaimah meaning you erect tent that is uh, words have different meanings so that is the favor that a, a wall will be a surah sur will be erected that is like wall so same meaning surah to Yusuf Yusuf the word uh, Yusuf why this surah is named as a Yusuf because the subject is Yusuf alayhi Yusuf alayhi is the son of Yaqub, Joseph in English, same word, same meaning, Yusuf. Years before, when I read this word, Yusuf, I read somewhere, Yusuf is from Ibrani language or Aramaic which one I don't remember. It says that Aramaic, that means beautiful. Yusuf is named, the prophet Yusuf, as Yusuf because of his beauty. This is what is said. Yusuf is most, one of most beautiful prophet described in this Quran, in this, in our Quran most beautiful one and you know we will read his story it is very nostalgic story it is a family family problems brothers mother and uh, his involvement and uh, i mean women things i mean really very very alive it's a story, a story which is there everywhere all the time. Muslims develop literature. Yusuf and Zulaikha or Zelikha, Zulaikha, Zelikha, stories. Yusuf and Zulaikha stories. Women, the name of that woman where Yusuf a.s was involved or she was involved with Yusuf salam, like queen of Egypt, that woman, Suleyha. A big story, books, in Turkish Ottoman literature, in Urdu, in Persian, in Arabic, and in East is full of the stories because story, this Pisa is very strong. We will come later on, this is known as views most beautiful Qassa, Ahsan al Qassas. Really, it is like that. It is like that. Muslim scholars have written independent books about Surah <coughs> Independent. All worlds are full like that. Unfortunately, not in many in English. Only one. I heard, I did not see yet, produced recently or in the process of production by Dr. Zeki Hamad, Ahmed Zeki Hamad, who was president of Islam, who lives in that uh, Chicago, that area, Quran Literary Institute of Quranic Institute of Literacy, something. That institute, which there was a problem previously, something happened, uh, confiscated some amount of money, some books, some things, because of some other things were involved. I hope that project continues under him. 
this Ahmed Zaki Hamad produced Abu about Abu Lahab. Tabat Surat Surat Tabat Surat Abu Lahab. Marvelous. One must write a text to write them. I was thinking one must have right, not one, a committee, big committee. Scholars must have right a text. Still, I am thinking that way. Big one, good one, comprehensive one. When I saw his books about Surat Ikhlas, about Tabat Yada, and about this one, I did not see this one, Surat Yusuf. I am hoping that same style, same technique he is using as he used for Surat Ikhlas, for Surat Tawbah, marvelous technique. First, when he added, uh, edited a draft book, I think about Surah Al-Fatiha, I have written about five pages of views and criticism to him. Unfortunately, I did not get any answer. I did not get any acknowledgement too. This is Muslim, Muslim way, so I don't have any grudge anything against nobody. I don't, I met him once or twice, I don't know him in person, so I don't have right to him. But this is what happens, generally. But I hope he meant benefited from my ideas and the direction to be taken in this type of book. Uh, perhaps I hope he benefited and, uh, and uh, it is good. Still, I am thinking Muslims must try, must have like 100, 200 scholars somewhere and for all things must have been taken care of their families and everybody. With all books, they must sit, they must uh, discuss, they must write a big, nice text here summarizing all traditional tafsirs with page numbers going into detail to and print a tafsir which will begin from there like that like that maybe will end there if did not end continue like that for one century or two centuries no problem Quran deserves two centuries more. Tafsir deserves three centuries more. If you finish half century, quarter century, ten years, no problem. Put millions, billions, you finish. You did not finish, why don't you work? Let a scholar generation study and die and be buried over there in graveyard in that Islamic research village. And other scholars trained by them overlapping continue hundreds of them working. So let us have something generations produce. Not pushing, pulling, or individual, one person is saying like that, other person is not agreeing or uh, not sharing or what is this? Muslims were team people, could be teamwork, could do team. When somebody is writing himself a uh, tafsir, an individual would, but what about the other alim? What about the other alim, other scholar? Oh, this is not good, not, uh, not something Muslims must. So they must have produced. This brother is individually doing not big teamwork, he has one or two persons, but as a scholar, as Ahmed Zeki Hamad, and uh, we appreciate what he is doing. He is explaining the context, he is explaining words, he is explaining uh, in his previous works about Surah to class, about Surah. Good, but from my perspective, not putting into civilizational context, Cultural context, which for me too very important. That time, his time, that word, that concept's time. 
very important, but very, very difficult. You need to know history of civilizations. You need to know history of cultures. Saying, I will give you an example. Saying, palace, we will come here. Palace of the ruler, of the ruler in, in, what is that, in, in, uh, in Cairo, in Egypt, is not enough. You need to know histories of palaces, how they are made of, system in the palaces, to put into perspective, we need to know in that, in that. Otherwise it is just, uh, it is, uh, in the, I mean, you are saying palace, I am understanding perhaps tent. Or in my village, cottage. I am, I am feeling cottage. And I don't feel, I am not feeling what you feel when you read Quran. History, culture, concept, intellectual concept, intellectual history, putting things into context is very important. If you don't do, you cannot uh, understand. Or this ayah cannot be that that strong. So, coming back to Surah to Yusuf, this is the Surah to Yusuf. This Surah was revealed in Mecca. Surahs are re revealed in Mecca and in Medina, divided in two. Major, sometimes big Surah revealed in Medina some part in Mecca. That is, ex, ex, Surah is Madani, but excluding this ayah, it is mentioned in the, in the text, in the, in the book, or in the beginning of the, this Surah title, it is mentioned. So, not all Surahs have been revealed in Medina, not all in Mecca. The Prophet had lived in two places, many years, Mecca, Medina. Mecca was born, became prophet, then migrated to Medina. Ah, oh, ulama argue sometimes, if some, something revealed, not inside the Medina, a little bit outside the Medina, when he was on trip, <laughs> how to say it? Whether this is revealed there, revealed there, big issue. Quran, you know, was not revealed as the ayahs are arranged chronologically. It was revealed different times and different places. The location of those verses of the ch chapters are fixed, taught, instructed by Jabra'il to Prophet. So the arrangement we have today, Surah Al-Fatiha, then Islam in second Surah, then other Surah, then last one, last Surah, Qul Auzubra Nas, then the surah before that, fala, before that surah to the class. And this system is exactly as it was during the time of the Prophet, ordered by the Prophet, practiced by the Prophet. By the order of Jabrail. Who ordered Jabrail? Allah. Who is teacher of Jabrail? Allah. Who is teacher of Muhammad? Jabrail. Who is teacher of the people after Muhammad? Muhammad. So that tradition, today we have this, exactly fixed by the Prophet Muhammad, as instructed by Jabrail, directed by Jabrail, who was ordered by Allah. So this order, this system, this arrangement is totally with the, with the order, with the system, with the happiness, with the practice, with the words, 
of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So it is, this is called Tawqifi. Tawqifi. Tawqifi, I don't care what. Tawqifi. Tawaw. Qafya. Faya. Tawqifi. Tawqifi means what? As it was ordered. This is not experimental. Tajrubi. Or Kesbi. Like ulama did, like uh, people after that uh, arranged or did. No. This is Tawqifi. This is exactly as it was delivered by the Prophet, ordered by Jabrail, ordered by Allah. That is the system. So, but this is not chronological. This doesn't mean Surah to Yusuf was revealed after Surah to Hud, preceding Surah. Doesn't mean at all. So chronological arrangement of surahs, of verses, is a big subject. In West, some people, a French scholar, arranged this Quran and printed that in chronological system. And that has been printed in Arabic. The name is Tafsir Ayat al Quran al Karim. It is interesting, chronological. Not unanimously agreed. Scholars did not agree, don't agree with him that much. But in a general sense, that is what he did. He is Orientalist, he is not Muslim but worked on this subject and produced a book. Muslim scholars in tafsirs, they explain when this ayah was revealed, after what. But it is so big information, but that you cannot really be dominant, grab, master, you cannot master fully this information because so big, so diverse, so different. Only computer. When all tafsirs, all Arabic tafsirs and tafsirs will be put into computer, when all hadiths, all books, first books, everything, and we would have these research techniques, keywords, and print out about Surah, about Yusuf, about Elif Lam Ra, about Tilka, about Ayatul, I mean anywhere. All information available in the books, chronologically. If we could, then we will have some real big information. But that did not happen yet. Did not happen yet. So one day inshallah. The Quran deserves to have this type of institutes. Unfortunately, I don't know any institute like that in this world. Institute where all tafsirs, all Quran, with copies, and all books are available, and hundreds of ulama are sitting, relaxed, and the best one in the ummah, discussing, and day and night, studying, and 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, they studied, and then some of them died, new ones joined, some of them died, new ones joined, and continued, continued, continued. Where is it? Where is it that I, academical, like NASA, I mean, space research and things like that, right? I mean, that who, who, they do something, oh, all world can, cannot do, could not do, a team where hundreds of people are working and they are combined and uh, somebody is doing what? Where is it? Where is it in Islamic studies? Who are we doing like that? Quran deserves any money, any expensive, any organizations. Islam deserves any organization. Where are they? Well, where are we? So this is the issue. Okay. Surah uh, Yusuf,
وهي مية كل واحد ويحتار عشرة آية This is one hundred eleven آية one hundred eleven آية this سورة سورة يوسف one hundred eleven آية آية نموس from one stop to another and numbers show the previous آية numbers belong to preceding one it is strange you may see here and there some for arms printed or some in literature number may not fit it may be longer shorter that is okay or could be corrected but sometimes ulama did not agree about number if you go into detail you may find in some books Alif Lam Ra, one ayah, number one. Tilka ayatul kitab al mubin second ayah. So it happens. But basically, not big deal, because these numbers are, as I said, invented for the comfort of Muslims a century after the death of the Prophet. So it is not good here, as long as words are the same. Uh, what I am going to do, I will conclude at this point, uh, like introduction, the even first ayah we did. Next week we will continue, inshallah. Uh, perhaps a few points. I apologize for any inconvenience today happened because of this space uh, problem. The, the class I mentioned in my small flyer is census people are there. We invited 20 people. Uh, this is the first time used. And Thanks to Allah, we, this is the first time, first Surah to Yusuf for, for this class, and this flow. It is not finished, but a little bit, there is a little bit discomfort, but it is okay, I believe. So, I apologize for that. Next week, too, we will have the class here. Time-wise, 12, 12 o'clock, this daylight saving time issue. 12 o'clock will be beginning, inshallah, 12.10, just around like that. We are all Muslims. We are always late. I don't want to be late. I'm not a late man at all. Never ever. I am not. But I adapt myself to people. Yes. I'm that much clever because I don't want to sit alone here. <laughs> on the angels, <laughs> on the angels, thanks to Allah, and jinns around, thanks to, Allah, to them, and to Allah, and to them, no problem, but not enough, I need to remove you. So it is 12 o'clock, inshallah, here, hopefully in better arrangement, here, uh, 12 o'clock, here, next week, Sunday. This is the continuation of previous years, as I said, continuing uh, class. And uh, I totally understand people join, people don't come, which is totally understandable. Uh, the purpose of this class is to make people familiar with the words of Quran uh, and things like that. Sometimes I go a little deep, sometimes not that much deep. It is the nature of this class. Uh, today, Sunday's afternoon, today the first one, there will be fifth classes after Sunday prayers, which has been requested these classes.